You should fit in 10. It is day 68. We've got, uh, well, about two and a half days left. Maybe not even quite. I am uh, doing this video a little bit late here on a Wednesday evening. And um, you'll probably see me do a couple videos uh, from here. That is the studio. I have no internet access for the next week. It's a long story, but I just don't have any internet. So I uh, just, uh, you know, bear with me. Okay, you'll still get the videos and hopefully I will remember to put them up. Uh, not just in YouTube, but I mean in Slack specifically, okay? I'm sure you all know by now that your scan is coming up and I wanna remind you to wear the clothing, if you can, wear the clothing that you did for your pre-photos, right? Your initial photos. If we wear the same clothing, we get a much better idea of the changes. Of course, we wanna be able to show as much skin as possible, within reason, of course. All right, um, but if you wear the same clothes that you did for your, uh, your initial pictures, that would be great. Another thing I wanna remind you guys of is we're gonna do our final scans, so we might as well make those scans appear as best as we can. So how do we do this? Well, you may have heard me say, do not work out the day before your scan. So what tends to happen is when you work out, let me be more specific. When you train your muscles really hard with the weight training, they are going to expend a lot of the glycogen that they store in the muscle. So the glycogen that you have in the muscle, the sugar in the muscle that you have, does get utilized through training. So if I train my upper body, let's just say, let's just say, you know, general upper body uh, session. I train my arms, train my chest, train my back all those muscles are going to lose glycogen. They're going to lose the sugar component in them, not the sugar, not all of it, but they're gonna lose a lot of it. And for every gram of sugar that your muscles store, you get three grams of water along with that. So this glycogen replenishment doesn't just happen in a couple of hours, right? This glycogen replenishment takes a couple days generally speaking. So well, you'll see quite a difference in your muscle mass if you uh, if you train a certain muscle group and you do a scan the next day. You're gonna see the muscle mass is slightly down. It's just normal because the scan is just looking at what it sees. It's just a snapshot in time. Our bodies are uh, dynamic, right? It's not static, it's just like the climate. The climate is dynamic, right? We're always changing. Our bodies are different than they were 20 years ago. They're different um, than, uh, than when we were infants. They will certainly be different when hopefully we reach our uh, a ripe old age of 100, right? Hopefully we'll all live to have, uh, hopefully we'll all live long lives. And our bodies are always changing, even in a short period of time. I mean, obviously I'm talking about, that's a long time. Even in a short period of time, there's many things that are going to affect the water in the muscle. And this can be things like salt, this can be water, um, salt specifically, I'm talking more sodium, water, carbohydrates, hormones, sleep, stress, exercise, time of the month, all this type of thing. Okay, so, um, and there's others. So, you know, we are, we are not, as I said, we are not static beings. We are going through change all the time. So just be aware of this and uh, just, just you know, we, we might as well make the scans appear as best as possible if they're gonna be our final scans, right? So let's do the things that will help to make the scan look better, okay? So if you wanna give yourself a treat meal, do it the day before your scan, okay? Don't have alcohol though. Alcohol will make your scan look worse, okay? But go in and give yourself a carbohydrate dense meal. It's gonna be totally fine. It's going to make your scan look better. Because it's gonna put a little more water, carbohydrates in those muscles, okay? Obviously this is not something we wanna do on a continuous basis, right? Because this is gonna be excess calories, this is gonna actually make us fat. But for the sake, especially for those of you, well, all of you, right, been working hard and uh, really trying to stick to your numbers, 
your body is going to be more adaptive, okay? You're gonna be more adaptive. If, if you've been eating a, a restricted amount of carbohydrates every day, which, you, which you're supposed to be, you are going to be more insulin sensitive. So your body's actually gonna be, it's now more adapted to being able to handle a meal of carbohydrates. That's right. Your body is gonna have less, it's gonna, there's gonna be less chance of you eating one high carbohydrate meal and storing it as fat. So the body is, the muscles are more, and your liver too, can be more receptive to storing that sugar or extra starch, whatever it is that you're eating, as fuel. Okay, why? Well, because you've been restricted. You've been restricting your carbohydrates and you've been exercising the muscles repeatedly. Both of these things make you more insulin, that is the hormone that helps to store sugar, uh, makes you more insulin sensitive on the muscles. Let's be specific here, on the muscles. Okay, and this is a good thing. This is a good thing and this is a good thing for fat loss, long term. All right, and that's kind of heading into a, a separate subject. For the sake of your scan, try not to exercise hard before your, uh, before your, um, the day before your scan. Wear the same clothing, and let's talk about all the, the other stuff too, I might as well mention it. No metals in your body, uh, no alcohol, no alcohol the, day, uh, the day of or the day before, no caffeine within 12 hours, um, try to use the washroom beforehand. Uh, what else? Uh, no heavy clothing. Well, obviously we're gonna be doing your after photos, right? Okay. And uh, anything else I missed? Ladies, if it's the time of the month for you and it's the beginning of it, let me know. We will reschedule, okay? All right, let's get to the, uh, the master of the day. Um, on this day, it's day 68, right? Um, well, that's so strange because I thought I read yesterday's. Yesterday I read day 68, master of the day, right? We are day 68, they were Wednesday. All right, well, whatever. Okay, I'll move on to the next one. Um, it's one of my favorites, and I'm gonna repeat it. You've already heard me say this, it was in the beginning. This is something, a, mon a little, whatever you wanna call it, mantra, you can, you can repeat to yourself, I am amazing, I can do anything, positivity is a choice, I celebrate my individuality, and I am prepared to succeed. Well, <laughs> I guess we're at the end now, but you know what I'm saying. This applies to every aspect of your life. It will continue after the challenge, right? Not just these 70 days. I'm gonna say it again. Uh, I'm gonna say it as if I'm speaking to you. You are amazing. You can do anything. Positivity is a choice. Celebrate your individuality. And I hope you will continue to know that you can succeed at whatever you choose to put your mind to. You just have to apply yourself, right? You just have to apply yourself. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Positive energy, positive vibes. Believe in yourself and for the love of God, give some gratitude. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Until tomorrow, you guys. See ya.